Hey Nerdy Knitter, are you expecting a baby or perhaps you have a friend who's expecting or a relative or you have to attend a baby shower and you need a gift? Well, I've collected some great ideas for little baby sweaters and cardigans that you can knit for your new baby or your friend's baby or any baby that you'd like to knit for. All of these are pretty simple and basic, great for beginners, and best of all, they're all free patterns. But before we dive in, I just want to say, hey, I'm Tanya here at Nerdy Knitting. I'm a certified knitting instructor and a knitwear designer, and my goal is to help you become a more confident, adventurous knitter. Now, a member of the Nerdy Knitting community recently reached out and asked me if I would share some recommendations for baby sweaters, and I thought that sounded like a perfect video idea. So this video is for you, Masuga, and your new baby boy. Congratulations. First, we have Flax by Tin Can Knits. Flax is part of their Simple series, which is perfect series for beginner knitters. And this part of the series is a very easy top-down raglan pullover. It has great illustrations in the pattern and articles on their website that walk you through the process. And it comes in a really large range of sizes from baby to adult, so you could knit matching sweaters. Now this version uses worsted weight yarn, but there's also a light version that uses fingering weight yarn as well. Then we have Little Coffee Bean Cardigan by Elizabeth Smith Knits. Now if you'd rather knit a cardigan than a pullover sweater, then this is very similar construction to the flax sweater. It's a raglan sweater that comes in three sizes and it features a really simple striped pattern on the body of the cardigan with the cuffs, hem and collar and the button band worked in one of the colors. And if you want to get matchy matchy, you can knit the adult sized coffee bean cardigan for yourself as well. Then we have G'day Baby by Georgie Nicholson. Now this one comes in two sizes. It's also worked from the top down, but this time it's a circular yoke construction. Now the yoke and the body are worked flat back and forth in rows because it's a cardigan. The yoke is worked in garter stitch stripes and then the body is worked in stockinette stitch with a garter stitch edging at the front so there's no need to pick up stitches for a front button band. And then sleeves are picked up at the armholes and worked in the round down to the cuff. Now this pattern also includes a series of blog posts by the author walking you through each section of the pattern. Then there's Baby's First Cardigan by Lion Brand. Now this cardigan only comes in one size and it's worked in pieces, but it's really, really simple. The back, both front pieces and the sleeves are all worked in garter stitch, no shaping, no anything, just simple rectangle shapes. When you finished knitting all of these tiny pieces, you sew the pieces together. Very simple and a great introduction to seaming knitted garments. Next is the Garter Stitch Baby Cardigan by Hohi Locatelli. This one comes in three sizes. It's worked flat from the bottom up. The back and both fronts are worked as one piece. There are buttonholes and a bit of armhole and neckline shaping and the sleeves are picked up at the armhole edge and worked flat to the cuff before seaming the sleeves and shoulders. Now this one's a little bit light on instructions, so it's probably more suitable for adventurous beginners. Next on the list is the Garter Ridge Baby Cardigan by Sarah Hoadley for Lion Brand. This one comes in four sizes. It's more difficult than the previous patterns, but certainly doable for somebody who's feeling adventurous. Now the body's worked in one piece from the hem to the neckline, dividing for the back and fronts, working buttonholes, and also decreasing for the neckline shaping. Now the sleeves are knit flat as well, and then everything is pieced and sewn together. If you want to knit a garment that's seamed, a baby sweater is a great place to practice that skill before tackling something larger. Then there's French Macaroon by The Noble Thread. This one has six different sizes. It has a boat neck and one button neck closure. It's worked in garter stitch from the bottom up. Front and back are worked as separate pieces with stitches cast on for the integrated sleeves. And then the shoulder stitches are on hold until both pieces are complete. Then they're joined with a three needle bind off. Then the sides and the sleeves are seamed. It's a very simple construction and the pattern is detailed with a step-by-step -step chart format. So it's really great for beginners. Next is the Spring Blossom Baby Kimono from Lion Brand. Now, if you want something that's a little bit different to knit, this little kimono could fit the bill. It comes in three sizes, has a cute little side tie closure. It's worked in one piece in stockinette stitch. You just start at the back hem, then knit up the back, Cast on some stitches to add the sleeves. You work over the shoulders, bind off some stitches for the back neck and split the left and right front pieces and work them separately. So it's definitely a construction method worth trying out. 
I have two more bonus patterns to share. Now, neither one of these are free, but they are what I would consider classic, adorable baby cardigans that might stretch your abilities just a little bit, but they're definitely worth looking at because they're just so adorable. First is Gramps by Tin Can Knits. Now this is just an adorable little cardigan. It's not free, but with its little pockets and its shawl collar and those little tiny elbow patches, it's just so adorable. Now the sizes range from baby to adult with this one as well. So you could knit one for a baby or make a matching set for dad and son or even knit them for the whole family. It's a top-down raglan construction, but it also includes short rows and all of those other little elements like the shawl collar and pockets, which make it more difficult, but definitely worth checking out. Then there's the classic baby surprise cardigan, Unvented by Elizabeth Zimmerman. This classic pattern was invented in 1968, and it's been included in a variety of publications from Schoolhouse Press. It's knit in garter stitch in one piece, and that piece is then folded, and the shoulders are seamed to create the jacket. It's a very clever technique, and definitely considered a knitting classic. Now the latest version from Schoolhouse Press includes a knitting calculator so you can create a custom sized cardigan. Now these are just some of the patterns I found and thought were worth sharing and I'm sure you have some great ideas for me too and I would love to hear about them. Drop a comment below and tell me about your favorite baby cardigans or sweaters to knit and if you're looking for more little baby sweater and cardigan ideas go check out those comments to see what other people are recommending and if you're looking for even more beginner level knitting patterns I've put together a short playlist just for you that includes some of my favorite beginner level projects so click right here and I'll see you in the next video